The National Institute of Health tells us that 25% of people, one out of four individuals, will at some point in their lives meet the diagnostic criteria for a behavioral or emotional distress. Now some people would say that that may be true for the world, but that isn't true for committed Christians. That if you're really walking in all the light, if you're really walking with God, that you wouldn't struggle in these sorts of areas. But I found that just not to be true. A number of years ago, I met with a retired pastor who shared with me a number of experiences that he'd had in, the, in the, his years of helping people in the pastorate. Uh, that discussion prompted me to let other pastors, other friends uh, around the country know that I was available for counseling and consultation if it would be helpful to them. The response to that was so overwhelming that I felt as though the Lord was calling me to shift my focus from clinical counseling to the training of future counselors. And so while I maintain my professional credentials as a state and nationally licensed mental health counselor and as a board certified Christian counselor, my new focus is to help and train and mentor students who feel the desire to help those who need the information and need the skills to be able to help those in distress. In the classes I've taken thus far, I've already learned so many new techniques that I can use when I become a Christian counselor. I can't wait to see what God has in store. I am Cliff Churchill, and right now I'm a licensed counselor in the state of Florida, and I work as a clinical director for a drug and alcohol rehab program. And while I'm there, I also do a lot of work with trauma. One of the things that was beneficial in getting me to where I'm at now was my time here at Hope Sound Bible College. As a freshman, I was in the AA department, and the time there, being surrounded by a spiritual environment and a choir tour, I felt very clearly God called me to be a therapist. And that is something that I embrace wholeheartedly. And Hope Sound Bible College offered that. Not only that, I was able to switch into the minor in counseling, which provided me with a basic background and understanding and two very important things to me. One, it allowed me the chance to go directly into a graduate program and get a master's in counseling, which allowed me to move into state licensure, which was a big deal and allows me a lot of leeway in my professional career. Two, it provided me with a strong theological background, a worldview which I continue to shape with God's help to this day. And being around that, I was able to see how having a strong biblical background was so important, even as a professional medical worker, understanding what happens. Uh, right now, what's exciting is the idea of a full-blown major in counseling. Uh, it's really neat to see a uh, personal peer and friend of mine, Dr. Graham, heading this up. He and I were in the program together many years ago, and one of the neat things about this, in the, uh, for instance, in our field, in the drug and alcohol rehab field, a four-year degree can allow you to move into direct certification and directly into the field. So it would be a terminal degree in some ways for people wanting to go directly into counseling after this. It also offers the same strong theological background. Andrew and I still get together. We still have a chance to uh, talk shop, and I have a lot of respect for him as a therapist, and I know the program here will be based on both sound biblical principles as well as sound clinical skills. I had the privilege of sitting in a class recently conducted by Dr. Andrew Graham at Hope Sound Bible College on crisis intervention. And as I sat there and listened to him very capably and very informatively uh, give us instruction as to how to deal with the declining, corrupting generation that we're called to serve, it made me wish that I would have had access to this information more than 50 years ago when I was a student in Bible school. I've served in denominational leadership. I've served on the college boards of two colleges. I've been an evangelist. I pastored for 60 years. And I highly recommend that uh, those who have the opportunity of doing so take advantage of Hope Sound Bible College stepping forward and filling this vacuum in the holiness movement for, on a subject that is greatly needed by all of our pastoral students. So if you're interested in developing the tools, the skills necessary for helping those in need, to be more than just a good listener, to be more than just an advice giver, then I'm interested in sharing with you my education and experience to mentor you as you answer this most important call upon your life.